from Goodno Gymnasium, Frontier Regional in South Deerfield tonight, a boys Hampshire League matchup, a rivalry game. It's the Frontier Red Hawks and the Mohawk Warriors. Hi again everyone, Jeff Terrell and Chris Collins courtside here in South Deerfield. Dave Reno is our studio producer in Greenfield, the Frontier Red Hawks, a great start to the 2018-2019 basketball season, a 7-1 overall record, 3-0 in league play, going up against the Mohawk Warriors, just under 500, they are 4-5 overall, 2-1 in Hampshire league play. So Chris, we get ready for this rivalry game. Frontier with a decided advantage, but the resurgence, semi-resurgence is probably a better way of putting it in Mohawk basketball. That's been one of the stories in the Hampshire League this year. Yeah, and I think it's exciting if you're a, a, a Mohawk fan, the resurgence. I mean, you mentioned this is a rivalry game, and it is. These programs have always had a, a good rivalry, but the last couple of years, this has been more of a hospital job than a rivalry game. It's been a, decidedly in favor of Frontier. I expect that to happen again tonight. Just too many weapons on Frontier's side of the ball, but you know, for a program that's been down a couple of years now, Mohawk is making a comeback. They've got some good athletic talent on that team. Whether there'll be enough to withstand this juggernaut that's building here in South Deerfield remains to be seen. Mohawk, again, at 4-5 and five overall. They last run action uh, last week, a victory on the road against Mount Everett. 43 to 28, so some good D put up by the Warriors in that victory. Anthony Moffitt and Owen Cross, uh, the guard and the post player with 11 points each. Moffitt had a big night shooting from outside with three three-point field goals in that victory. Frontier last out. That was a game that you and I, Chris, did last week down against uh, Smith Academy in Hatfield. An easy win, 72 to 33, but they did struggle early on. They trailed by one at the end of one. Yeah, they've got to get out of the gate better than they did against Smith Academy, I think. And Mohawk, you know, you mentioned the defense. Certainly, they're going to have to play top defense tonight to be able to contain what's a pretty potent offense, although there is one less weapon in Ben Barashevsky's uh, uh, gun tonight. Yep, Colin Boudreaux was injured during pregame warm-ups. Uh, the guys were out shooting at halftime of the junior varsity game. He suffered a wrist injury. Head coach Ben Barshevsky just told me it's either broken or dislocated. They're not sure yet. He's on his way to get that injury evaluated. But either way, a tough situation. One less weapon that Ben can use tonight. Karsten Carey was held only nine points in that victory over Smith Academy, but Frontier, Chris, they're so good, they are so deep. Owen Morse had a huge night, 21 points, Helen the chemical player of the game. To withstand a night where your three of your big men really did almost next to nothing and still win going away, that speaks to how deep they are. And that reminds me of, of you know, a few years back when Frontier had the two big men in the middle, and then they would, but when they got into trouble, they would go to the outside. That's the kind of a game that they're developing. They've got a, a very, very tough inside game, but they can shoot the three, they can shoot from the outside, they've got a lot of weapons. All right, we'll see if Mohawk can hang with the Red Hawks if they, in fact, can pull off a stunning upset. Mohawk, Frontier. We'll have our opening tip-off coming up in just a few minutes here. This is Bear Country 95.3. Back to South Deerfield after these. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Back in South Deerfield, the two teams finishing up their pregame warm-ups. The Frontier Junior Varsity with an easy, and I mean easy, victory over the Mohawk JVs. The Junior Varsity Contest wrapping up around 15 minutes ago. Frontier wins that one, 81-17, looking for the sweep. Tomorrow night, or check that, Wednesday night, we will be at Nichols Gym, Greenfield High School. More on that in a bit. First, introduction of the starting lineups. Our guests this evening are the Warriors from Mohawk Trail Regional High School. 
The member schools, the MIAA, cordially welcome you to this game. The students participating in tonight's contest are representing their schools, their families, and themselves. Please encourage these student athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Now for tonight's starting lineups, for Mohawk at guard, number three, Anthony Moffat. At guard, number four, Sean Davenport. At center, number 24, Will Guyette. At forward, number 12, Jackson Hicks. At forward, number 14, Cam Lococo. Moka is coached by Darren Schmidt. Now for Frontier at guard, number one, Alex Sharp. At guard, number 14, Owen Morse. At center, number 22, Karsten Carey. At forward, number 13, Peter Carey. At guard, number two, Kaylin Evans. Frontier is coached by Ben Barsevsky. The officials for tonight's game are George Shaheen and Jeremy Thomas. Would you please rise for the playing of our national anthem. All right, a silent Star Spangled Banner slowly building to a crescendo at the end. What happened, folks, is you heard the public address announcer call for all of us to rise for the national anthem. There was a audio technical difficulty and one of the frontier staff here had the Star Spangled Banner playing out of his phone. You could barely hear it. And then by the time we got to the final part of that stanza, the crowd took over and sung, and sung it. That was pretty cool. Glad there are a few Patriots still in the area. Not just football players, but. Frontier starting five, Sharp and Evans and Morse. Three guard offense, Peter Carey the forward, Karsten Carey the center. Mock with Moffat and Davenport in the back court. Hicks, Lococo, and Guyette. Tip is controlled by the Red Hawks. They'll shoot to the basket on our left. Mock will be moving right to left. Frontier in the home white with red and navy blue. Mock in the visiting royal blue and gold. Driving through the lane, missing the shot was Morse put back by Karsten Carey, no good. Finally taken down by Cam Lococo. Gets it away to Anthony Moffitt. And the first offensive opportunity for the Warriors. Bounce pass right wing to Lococo, guarded by Evans. Top of the key, Will Guyette. They work at left side. Moffitt for three, that's off the back rim, no good. And an attempted save by Jackson Hicks on the baseline, couldn't get it. It'll go back to Frontier. Alex Sharp, the point guard, number one. Into the front court right. Peter Carey between the circles. Left side Evans on the wing. Kalen, top of the key. Sharp holding it over his head, looking to dump it down low. Here comes Morris to the line, to the lane. Scoop shot hit the underside of the cylinder. Comes back to Moffitt. Moffitt into the front court. Center court circle picked up by Sharp. Passes deep on the left side to Lococo. Cam holds there on the wing. They dump it down low to Guyette. Tipped away by Karsten Carey. It'll stay with Mohawk, 16 seconds to shoot. Inbounding on the sideline, they get it in. 14 seconds to shoot, Moffitt spins away from Sharp, left corner. This is Davenport, Sean to the line, to the lane, and he's bottled up by Evans. Good defense, traveling call. And Kalen Evans has called his shot. He wants to get player of the game t-shirt tonight. We'll see if he earns it. That was a pretty good start, though. So we're still scoreless, a minute and a half in. Sharp into the front court, throws it on the right wing to Evans. Down low, Karsten Carey as they went for the overplay, and he banks it in. Yeah, that overplay, is, that's not going to work. you got to defend that a little better than that. Two-nothing Frontier, now some backcourt pressure by the Red Hawks. They get it to Moffitt, throws it on up ahead. Ooh. Got yet a lot of contact from, uh, from uh, Carey. No foul called on him, but then a foul called against Peter Carey down low. Yeah, I guess you get... Don't get one carry, get the other, but that was an obvious foul by Karsten. And then Peter was a little bit less of a foul, but still a foul on the list. Yeah, Guyette took that right in the face. So two free throws now for Jackson Hicks, shooting off to our right side. Dips, shoots the first. It is good. 
2-1 Frontier, one more for Jackson. Jackson was the team's leading scorer, got off to a great start. It's been a little bit more quiet offensively lately, but he is capable. Second freebie is good. He was non-existent pretty much against Greenfield, but we'll see what happens tonight. Well, the whole team had a rough night. They lost by 41 points. Deep on the right side, Owen Morse, follow line, and shuffling the feet was Kalen Evans, that's a travel. It's too bad because he was wide open, top of the key. That was, you know, a good spot for him to be in, but he took the extra step. 6-10 to play here in the first quarter. We are tied at two. In the backcourt, Sean Davenport throws over to Moffat, loops a pass up ahead to Lococo. Lococo has it right in front of the Frontier bench, takes it left of the lane, bounce pass down low to Jackson Hicks, off his hands, cars to carry, had it batted down. Evans picks up the loose ball, drives all the way through, off the glass and in. Good strong move by Kale and had a chance to pass it, but had the shot and took it. Frontier four, Mohawk two, 5.45 to play here in the first quarter. Moffat double teamed in the backcourt, throws over to Davenport, up ahead to Guyette. Guyette right of the lane, working on Karsten Carey. They swing it left side to Moffat. Shot clock at 15, Moffat, head of the circle, guarded by Sharp. Left wing pass goes to Lococo, Cam gets a screen, dribbles through, loses the handle, here comes Karsten Carey, three on two break. Lefty dish, it goes to Sharp, who banks it in. Yep, good pass by Carey, nice little bounce pass, Sharp is breaking to the basket. Red Hawks by four now, 6-2, as we come down to the five minute mark here in the first quarter. Moffat across, no, ends up in the backcourt, they're running out of time, three seconds, two, Moffat, they just broke it. Lococo tried to dish it down low to Guyette, led him too far, back to the Hawks. That three quarter court press, not, not really a trapping press, but just enough to upset the apple cart for the Mohawk Warriors. Yeah, that last time they barely, they got it over the, Center court line with about a second and a half to spare. No more than that. Evans wide open for three. Top of the career. Bang. k Dog. 9-2 Red Hawks now. So again, they got off to that rough start against Smith. Ended up winning it big. But they're playing a little bit better early on here tonight. Davenport throws the pass to Guyat. Looks for the cutter. Alley-oop down low to Hicks. Couldn't come up with it. Tipped away. It comes to Sharp. Frontier looks to run. Alex into the front court. Foul line right. Goes to Kale and Evans. Evans will loop it back, they'll set up the offense. Right wing, Sharp, beyond the arc, holding it over his head, and a high post to carry, tipped away by Jackson Hicks. Hicks now will peel back, wait for his teammates to catch up, and he hands to Anthony Moffitt. Moffitt with three threes last week against Mount Everett. They like to work him free for a few perimeters. He's 0 for 1 from out deep. They tried an entry pass down low to Gaia, picked off by Karsten Carey. Zips the pass up ahead to Evans on the left. Cross-court pass on the right side, way away from Alex Sharp. It'll go back to the Mohawk Warriors, and checking in is Owen Cross, and checking out is Will Guyette. Yeah, they tried that pick and roll to Mohawk a couple seconds ago, and it would have worked, but for the presence of Karsten Carey. We'll take a timeout, four minutes left to play here in the first quarter, and on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Frontier 9, Mohawk 2 on Bear Country 95.3. So it'll be Mohawk basketball, the limbound right in front of their bench. Davenport will throw in. Holds there, gets it in the Moffat. They quickly trap him in the backcourt. Pushes a pass up ahead to Lococo. Lococo up ahead, they get it across. Hicks, left side, Davenport for three. That's Lococo rather, in and out, no good. Well, it was Davenport. Back quickly come the Hawks. Sharp to carry, and he loses the handle down low. And what did we get? That's, that's just a turnover. Yep. Good, good defense. Good, good uh, job by Mohawk to get back there and make it tough for Carey to do anything with that basketball. Well, Chris, it doesn't always work, but you, you need to try to make it as difficult on Frontier as possible. They usually can handle it anyway. And that time, Frontier then, uh, rather, Mohawk just traveled in the backcourt. So right back to the Hawks. And that press has got a little more aggressive now. Kalen Evans, they work at top of the key to Morris, fakes the three, back on the right side to Evans, has one three, that one's off the back rim, no good, rebound though by Morris, Owen, he'll pull up and pop from 16, it's good. Yeah, just shooting from all over the court tonight, Frontier. Frontier 11, Mohawk 2, 3.22 to play here in the quarter. Pass is batted down, recaptured by Moffat, little touch pass to Hicks, gets it back to Moffat. That's the guy they want to handle the ball, Moffat. Head of the circle, guarded by Sharp. On the right wing, nearly stolen by Evans, recaptured by Moffitt. Gets it over to Jackson Hicks, back to Moffitt, top of the key, shot clock at five. Anthony takes it in, the leaner over Karsten Carey is no good. 
Battle for the rebound, comes down to Moffitt, up fakes, rejected by Peter Carey. Another offensive rebound by Moffitt. His surround shot blocked by Morris. Peter Carey, long lead to Sharp, who lays it up and in. Yeah, just a lot of really good defense being played on the frontier side of the ball. Three blocks and one, one exchange. That's incredible. 13 to two. Frontier with the big lead. They nearly came up with another steal, but Moffitt breaks it. Left side to Davenport, back to Moffitt. They'll set it up, 15 to shoot. Moffitt takes it out near the center court circle, passes left side to Davenport, back to Moffitt, directing traffic, 10 seconds now. Lococo in a high post, Jackson Hicks wide open, turns, shoots, misses. I think he uh, found himself too open. Yeah, he rushed that shot a little bit. No, he overthought it. Morse pulls up for three, got it. <laughs> yeah. And another timeout called by Mohawk. We'll step aside again. 2.09 to play here in the first quarter. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it is Frontier 16, Mohawk 2. This is Bear Country, 95.3. Well, pretty much as we expected, Frontier carrying the play. And then uh, Mohawk's done a decent job of breaking the press, getting the ball into the front court, although not easily, but just had not, have not had a, many opportunities to put the ball in the hole. And the few that they've had uh, have been either rush shots or just tough shots. Davenport, they break the press easily that time, coming all the way through, a no-look pass, and it's tipped away, and Moak was able to save it momentarily. Karsten Carey wings it on the right side, right back from Evans, his oh, lane is good. Finger roll. Went right over Anthony Moffitt. Ruben Bassett checked in for Mohawk, by the way, and you've got uh, Owen Wachowicz and Tim Barrington who checked in for the Red Hawks. Bassett. Left side, Owen Cross goes up strong and hits. Nice move by Owen Cross. Solid. That breaks a long run by the Hawks. They still lead it 18 to four. Barrington on the right wing. Bounce pass on the right corner to Karsten Carey. Down low, Wachowicz puts it up and in. Nice play there by Owen. Well done, nice pass. Good cutting move by Karsten to Wachowicz. 20 to four, Frontier. Coming down to the one minute mark here in the first quarter. Ruben Bassett has it, foul line left, and it poked away by Karsten Carey. Looks to get it to Barrington. Timmy now will get it, and he will jog it across the timeline. Out of the circle, wide open three ball. Got that one. <laughs> well, they left him wide open. You're gonna leave me alone like that, you're gonna pay for it. I mean, Barrington can shoot. He, he saw more action earlier in his career, but he is uh, he's still a prominent part of the mix. Now on the right side. Coming through is Cam Lococo, gets it back to Anthony Moffitt. Barrington will jump out on him. Left side pass to Davenport, back on the right side to Moffitt. Pass is picked off by Moore. Owen takes it all the way through on Moffitt, lays it up and in. Uh, what a heady play by Morris, the young sophomore, just doing it all out there. 25 to four. Feed it down low. Owen Cross, and a foul on the floor. Let's see who they got. Not a lot of contact. Me on Karsten. Uh, all more, all or most more saw were white shirts around him. I mean, there was nobody in a blue shirt near him. That's the first on Karsten, second team foul on the Hawks. Non shooting, Moffitt inbounding on the baseline. Looking, looking, it's batted down by Barrington to Karsten Carey. Long pass on the left side. Wachowicz gets it to Alex Sharp. 10 seconds left here in the quarter. Robinson in there now for Frontier as well. Down to five seconds. Karsten Carey, little hook. Running hook is no good. Rebound to Mark. They're not going to get a shot off. All Frontier in that first quarter. And our score at the end of one. In South Deerfield, Goodno Gymnasium. On the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It is Frontier 25, Mohawk 4. Second quarter action coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, 
Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslex Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. It'll be frontier ball with Brett Robinson inbounding it to Sharp. Deep on the right side, now on the wing, it's Tim Barrington. All Red Hawks obviously in that first quarter, they lead by 21 at the end of one. Peter Carey going baseline, muscles his way through, got it, and a foul. That was a sure will. Yep, there was no way he was not going to go to the basket on that one. And I'll tell you, no matter what combination Frontier puts out there, they're having success. Of course, I would expect it against a, a team that's not quite as maybe skilled, but they're, everything they're doing is working right now. Free throw is in. Three-point play for Peter Carey. It's 28 to four. Austin Sumner checked in for the Mark Warriors as Darren Schmidt looking for some guys who can score. They go down low to Owen Cross, hits from the left block. Yeah, that's a good spot for Owen Cross. He's been some success down there. 28-6 now in favor of the Red Hawks. Deep on the right side, it's Barrington between the circles. Gets it over to B-Rob on the left side. They work it right side to Sharp. Sharp can't penetrate though. Wide open on the left side is Burrington into the paint. Kicks it right side. Sharp, step back three, and in and out, no good. Offensive rebound, Peter Carey lost it over his head, and it comes down to Sumner. Austin outlet pass on the left to Moffitt. Anthony Johnson across the timeline left, picked up there by Peter Carey of all people. A little wraparound pass to Sumner. Right corner goes to Bassett. Bassett back to Sumner. Bounce pass right side. And a three-point bomb put up. No good by Bassett. Rebound to Robinson. Gets it over to Sharp. Sharp over the front court. Top of the key. Barrington fakes the three on the right side. Passes back to Sharp. Sharp looks to the right. Now to the left. It goes to Robinson. Between the circles, Sharp. Shot clock at 15. Barrington deep on the right beyond the arc. Packing it in are the Warriors. They go into high post. And did we get a timeout call? Yep. They did with nine seconds on the shot clock. That timeout called by Frontier. We'll take the break. 6.27 to play here in the first half. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, all Frontier. Red Hawks lead it over Mohawk 28-6 on Bear Country 95.3. We were mentioning how we'll be at Greenfield High School on Wednesday night. When we were there on Friday night for Samantha Smith's milestone game, 1,000 points, she needed 20, got 18 in the first half, scored in the first minute or so of the second half. And she's the second Greenfield player in as many years to get 1,000 points. And you've got Katie Hazelton, who is pacing to make it next year. Girls basketball at GHS. Let's just say they've been on a roll <laughs> for the last few years for sure. Play back on here now. Frontier basketball, they're on a bit of a roll here. And a double clutch jumper by Peter Carey as the shot clock was set to expire. It's no good. Anthony Moffitt gets the board. We'll see if Ma can come up with a little bit of a run here, make it a little bit closer here. But pass is batted down. Peter Carey goes behind the back. The big guy handling the rock pretty well. Tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Hawks. And Barrington is going to throw in in the right corner. Gets the ball from official George Shaheen, working with Jeremy Thomas. Throw it out deep to Robinson on the right side. Barrington, deep three ball, a little bit too strong. Weak side rebound, though, by Sharp. New shot clock for the Hawks. Way back on the right, a baseball pass over. Top of the key, Robinson. They got him with steps. Yeah, that was probably the only really exchange that's been off so far tonight for Frontier. Just a little bit disjointed, but... You get some new faces in the game right now. Anthony Moffitt will take it across. 
Takes it over, left side hips, right side pass. And on the right side, an open jumper. That's an air ball too strong. Tip followed by Hicks, no good. So they go for two there. Running up, man, nice play there by Tyler Dubriel. Poked it away from behind. And back come the Warriors. Deep on the left side is Hicks. Jackson gets it. Dubriel takes it into the paint. Little floater. Back rim, no good. Offensive put back by Cross. Yes. Count it and one. Well, Owen Cross has been the most consistent offensive player for Mohawk tonight. That time he drew the foul going up. They can pound the ball inside to him. They can put some points on the board, make this a little more interesting than it is. And sitting down Anthony Moffat, he will take a break. Sean Davenport in. And for Frontier, you've got uh, Owen Cross coming back in. Robinson will sit. Also sitting down is Owen Wachowicz. You got the starting five out there basically for Frontier. Yeah, yeah. Kalen Evans is back out there. Sharp uh, has been out there. Right, Free throw it. is good, he banked it in. 28-9, a 19 point lead for Frontier. Just over five minutes to play here in the first half. Sharp, skip pass, left side to Owen. They jump Ooh. off him and ends up in the backcourt. And Frontier's gonna claim it got tipped by Moak, it did not. No. So that is a backcourt violation. That was just a bad pass, so. Still seeing a couple of mistakes here for Frontier. And inbounding the basketball. Tyler Dubriel has it, loops it pass to Jackson Hicks, left side, right side at Davenport. Pass tipped out of bounds by Owen Morse. It'll go right back to Mohawk. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Davenport will inbound just off to our right. Gets it in Dubriel. And passes in the right corner. They look Lococo, they dump it down low, cross, turn, cool. shoots, hits again. Hey, Owen Cross is out himself. Nice, he's got nine points already. 28-11, they're within 17 now. Here comes Kalen Evans, he loses it, out of bounds, and it's going to go back to the Warriors. Well, this is what we saw in the first quarter against Smith Academy, some mental mistakes. Do not go to sleep on these Warriors. Dubriel takes it across the timeline left. Into a double team, Hicks, right side pass to Davenport, fakes the three, into the right corner to Lococo, they double on him, they get it to Hicks, Hicks, jump and jumper, no good, tipped around the Karsten Carey. Up ahead to Morris, two on two break, he'll now circle back, wait for his teammates, has it on the left wing. Dumps it into the paint, oh nice play, Peter Carey to Karsten Carey from the left block, banked it home. That's just good passing right there by Frontier. Red Hawks 30. Warriors 11, we're halfway through the second quarter. Deep on the left side and a little over aggressive defense by Kalen Evans bumped right into Jackson Hicks and fouled him. That's Still nobody near the bonus at this point. Yep, that was only the fourth team foul on Frontier Mohawk, only one foul this whole half. First personal on Kalen Evans. They get it in Dubriel into a double team, ends up in the backcourt, tipped away, goes to the floor, got it over to Hicks. And here's Davenport, left side, takes it in. Nice, aggressive wrap around pass, and Cross hits again. Yeah, I'm telling you, that's the guy you want to feed right now. He's got the hot hand. 30 to 13, Frontier with the ball. Go on the right side to Sharp. Sharp, deep on the right side. Some of the Frontier crowd getting a little restless now. Put up and in on the right side by Peter Carey. Lead back to 19, 32 13, 322 to play here in the half. Right side, Lacoco going baseline. Tough D by Kalen Evans out of bounds. It'll go to the Hawks. He tried to throw it off of Evans and ended up deflecting back off of his leg. So Frontier gets it back. And they get it into Alex Sharp. He takes it into the front court on the right wing. They get it. Oh, beautiful ball movement. Three passes. Carey Brothers hook up. And the basket by Karsten and a foul. Yeah, that's just about as good high post basketball as you're going to see. Just bang, bang, bang. Two points. Count it in one. Yeah, you can't really defend that. You can try, but when the passes are coming that quickly, it's really, really hard to get to your spot. So an attempted three-point play now by Karsten Carey. Only nine points against Smith. He's had a much better outing. That free throw is good. He's already equaled that number in this first half. 35 to 13, a 22-point lead now for the Red Hawks. Dubriel. Nearly stolen by Morse, loose ball, it's kicked around, picked up by Lococo, lost it to Peter Carey. Left side, Kellen Evans, lefty lay-in, got it. That quick, that's how quick it, it turns when Frontier goes to the fast break, transition basketball. 
The lead is 24 with 2.45 to play in the half. Our halftime report coming up. Coming all the way through, they kick it on the right side. Three point bomb put up good by Lacoco. And Lacoco from the elbow. 37 16. 21 point lead for the Red Hawks and a high post. Karsten Carey zips it down low. Sharp little bunny from the right side, no good. Picked up by Karsten, the leaner is good. They yeah, short arm that shot at Alex, but Karsten cleaned up the glass. We have three subs that are getting set to come in for Frontier. Nurminger is going to come in. Felton Emmerich is going to come in. And Gachinski is going to come in. Two minutes to play here in the half. Frontier leading big. Gachinski ditched those orange uh, sneakers, apparently. Lococo <laughs> had it, lost it. Stolen away by Morse. This pass still picked off by Anthony Moffat. Moffat taking it across. And he'll circle back towards the center court circle. In a high post, it's Cross looking for the cutter down low. And they finally get it back on the left side. Shot clock down to 14. Hicks has it. Bounce pass down low, Cross. Rejected by Carstikeri, picked up again by Cross. They're running out of time, three seconds. And a three-pointer put up, rims out, no good, but a foul on the play. It is going to go against Kalen Evans. And it's going to be was, two on it, him. It was on the shooter, so three free yep. throws three. for Dubriel. All right, the first of three is up. No good. Hit off the back iron. Two more to go here. Second of three is up. That one's off the back rim, no good. So now they'll let those Frontier subs come in. Gachinski, Felton Emmerich, Nurminger. Sitting down will be Sharp. And Peter Carey. And Evans. And Evans. Third of three. That one was no good. So missed Ooh. all three of them. So a wasted trip other than getting that foul call on Evans. Minute 19 to play here in the quarter. Karsten Carey, a nice pass to Nurminger, but he got his feet a little tangled down low on the baseline and traveled. Yeah, I'm not sure Nurminger expected that pass to be quite that, that crisp. Well, with Karsten, you, you need to be ready. Because <laughs> right. even if it doesn't look like it's coming your way, it may very well be. He's an outstanding passer. Just a great all-around player, obviously. On the right side, Cam Lococo hit a three a moment ago. Dubriel passes on the left side, picked off by Gabe Duchinski. Gabe into the front court, zips, uh, zips a pass down low, Karsten hits from the left side. Anybody else doesn't get that pass, but Karsten was able to get it for sheer height. 41-16, Frontier. They score 25 points here in the, in the uh, first quarter. They've cooled off a bit here in the second. Pass tipped out of bounds by Kaczynski. Tell you, the Frontier guards have been awful quick tonight, Jeff. They blocked a bunch of those passes. Well, a lot of these guys are soccer players in the fall. And soccer players make good basketball defenders because you got that foot speed and the agility that a lot of other athletes do not have. Soccer's really an athletic sport, obviously. They're on the right side. Lococo, top of the key. Jackson Hicks finds Dubrio free on the right baseline. His floater, though, is no good. And all the way through, and oh, Ooh. a hard foul on Moffitt as Morse was coming through to lay it in. Owen will go to the line for two. Yeah, Owen knew he was going to get hit, took it anyway. Moffitt got his money's worth on that foul, his first. Now coming up at our halftime report, we will recap the first half of this basketball game, and we'll preview Hopkins-Greenfield. It's going to be a Wednesday. good game, I think. I think so, too. First free throw by Morse is good. Owen will get one more. Now, 42 first half points by the Hawks. Well, the JV's put up, what, 80? 81. They won 81 to 17. Second free throw is good. Yeah, there's a lot of firepower in this program right now, <laughs> both the varsity and JV. Yes, there is. Moffitt takes it across. 10 seconds left. Picks up the dribble, nearly poked away. Davenport right side. Lococo for three again. That shot is no good. Two seconds left. Out of bounds. And it's going to go to the blue and gold. Davenport will inbound. Nope, they're going to switch up. It's going to be Moffitt. They'd like to spring somebody for a three. 
And with a half second left, they put up a three at the buzzer. Lococo air ball too short, and that will do it. A very dominant, albeit expected, dominant performance by Frontier in the first 16 minutes. And they lead huge at halftime. Halftime here at Goodno Gymnasium in South Deerfield. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it is Frontier 43, Mohawk 16. The halftime report next on Bear Country 95.3. those mini strokes sometimes. And welcome to the Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report. We're in South Deerfield tonight. The Frontier Red Hawks arguably, maybe in some quarters, inarguably the best team in the Hampshire League this year. Certainly one of the top two in the if you want to throw a pioneer in there. But they lead Mohawk big here at halftime. Their rival, 43 to 16. Last week, last Thursday night down in Hatfield, just uh, again, a big struggle for Frontier in that first quarter. Smith led by one at the end of one. Frontier finally got their act to going uh, together in the second quarter. They end up winning pretty much comfortably going away, but they decided they were gonna play well from the jump. A few missteps here and there, but all in all, a pretty nice performances by Ben's kids so far. Yeah, I think it's been, a, it's been a good solid season. I think in this particular game, though, I think coming in, we knew on paper this was gonna be something of a mismatch, but I'll tell you, I like some of the stuff Milwaukee's is doing. They played some pretty good defense, although it's tough. I mean, when they start doing those bang-bang passes and then playing that high post game and that two-man game, it's very, very tough to defend, but I think that what Frontier did in the beginning was they threw Mohawk off balance with that press, and that, you know, when they backed off the press, Mohawk had a little bit more success, but still, I think you've got, uh, you know, another half of basketball to play, but uh, very much Frontier comfortably in front. The other thing about this Frontier team, Chris, is when they go to the bench and they bring in Barrington, and when Felton Emmerich gets out there and Gabe Kaczynski gets out there, uh, Owen Walkowitz had a nice spurt there for a while. I mean, yeah, yeah, it's not quite the same level as the starting five, but there's there's not a huge precipitous dip. Those, right. those guys can play too. That's the thing, and you know, we've seen this this program emerged the last couple of years, especially at the JV level. I mean, last year's JV team was knocking the lights out of everybody they played, and a lot of those guys are on the varsity now, and a lot of those guys are the guys you see and come off the bench. And you're right, they can they can shoot it from anywhere. But once you put the two-headed monster in there, and, you know, they haven't really missed Colin Boudreaux was out with the injury. But, uh, you know, this Frontier team is going to be a handful for anybody they come up against. And Mohawk, you know, they got a chance to make this a little closer, but it's going to be a tough, tough order in the second half to come back and win this one. Well, speaking of the Warriors, in the first half, obviously, they only put up 16 points. They're getting blown out of this gymnasium so far. And they're not getting transition buckets. They're just not fast enough. They're not nearly as quick and athletic as Frontier, so they're not getting fast break points. And when they set up the half-court offense, they've struggled. However, when they've gotten the ball to Owen Cross, he, he knows what to do with it. Yeah, Owen's got 11 of their 16 points. And, uh, you know, that, I think at least four of those field goals run low post right over the top of one of the Carrier brothers. So, you know, if they can get the ball down to him a little more consistently, I think they then have some more success in terms of putting some points. But they also have had their moments where they've, they've rushed some shots, you know, they missed uh, a chance for three three uh, foul shots, all missed. So they've missed opportunities, but even if, even if they'd made the ones they'd missed, it'd still be a pretty pretty uh, much of a block going on. But, you know, anything can happen in the second half. 43 to 16, Frontier leading it over Mohawk here at halftime on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. We'll take a timeout here on our halftime report. More halftime from South Deerfield after these. This is Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. 
Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. All right, second half underway. Mohawk with the ball. Trailing 43 to 16, and they get a steal. Do the Red Hawks immediately in a nice dish. Karsten Carey to Sharp, who missed, but the putback by Peter Carey is up and in. And a nice start to the second half as well for Frontier. 45 to 16 now. Mohawk back with the ball. Anthony Moffitt throws into the left corner to Davenport. Away from the ball, a foul call. And that is going to go against the Warriors. Should be on Hicks. I think mean, he got caught up with yep. uh, Carey down low. That is two on Jackson Hicks. First foul here in the second half, obviously, on either team. Sharp at the center court circle. Throws on the right wing to Kalen Evans. Beyond the arc and a high post. Karsten Carey, nice dish to Peter. Goes baseline, wraparound pass, nice ball movement. Left corner. It is Morris, down low to Karsten Carey, looking for the cutter, zips it back over to Sharp. Eight seconds to shoot, coming through. Pull up pop by Morse. back rim no good. And they rebound put up no good by Evans. Kalen got his own rebound, new shot clock for the Hawks. And Cy Karsten Carey muscles his way through, banks it home. This is really good ball movement by the Red Hawks. Yeah, you know, when Karsten gets it in his spot, you have to basically just hope he misses. And he, and he will occasionally, but more times than not. And I love how he just uses the backboard. He just banks it in. He knows nine times out of ten it's going to drop. Maybe more than that. Going left baseline, Moffitt sealed off by Sharp. And the shot by Will Gaeff from the left side is no good from 15. Re deep rebound comes down. And all the way through, and the lay-in. Peter Carey, no good. Kind of a tough angle. Got tipped out of bounds off of Davenport, so... Frontier will get the ball with a new shot clock. They lead by 31 points right now. Into Peter Carey, poked away by Moffitt. What do we got? Reach and foul called against the Warriors. It looked like a pretty clean strip, but yeah, they're gonna call a foul. It's on Moffitt. And that's the second team foul on Mohawk and the second personal foul called against Anthony Moffitt. Sharp inbounding on the baseline. Gets it in to Karsten Carey all the way through. Banks it in and one. Will Guyette will get the ticket. Yeah, you're not going to stop him that way. And oh, wow, I'll tell you, he is, he when he makes his mind to go to the basket of the baseline, he's very, very tough to stop. He's yeah, got 17 points in this game. I mean, just, you hate to just say unstoppable because no one's unstoppable, but pretty darn close. Free throw is good. Well, the only time we've seen him really human is when he's beaten himself a little bit. Mm -hmm. He's had some mental breakdowns here and there on, on the front court. 50 to 16. So the lead now up to 34 points. This one's gone away with a high pass pulled down by Moffitt. 15 to shoot. Anthony on the left side trying to work a screen. They can't set it up. Shot clock down to 10. Davenport backed it out. They got to move towards the bucket. I'm not sure they know it. Lococo's going to go right baseline. Stops, turns, pops, got it. They did. Good well, job by Cam Lococo. He up faked to try to free himself for a shot, and he made it. Peter Carey, give and go. Kalen Evans, shuffle pass right side to Morris. Owen, pull up pop from 12. It's blocked by Moffitt. Loose ball, though, picked up by Frontier. Evans has it, 15 to shoot. Right corner. Morris is going to take a three. That is no good. Hustling for the rebound. Nice play there by Karsten Carey. Goes out of bounds. It'll go back to Frontier. Well, Moffat got way up in the air to block that shot by Owen Morris. And substitution into the game. We have Bassett coming in for Will Guyette for the Warriors. The inbound it to Morse. Morse is going to take a three. That is no good. He was very effective last Thursday night. Just goes to show every night's a little different. He's a little cold. He's going to go baseline. And he got blocked down low, and that's a foul. Could have been called on any number of Warriors. 
And did they get Hicks again? I don't know. They ran into, he ran into traffic. We'll see who they hit. And I think they got him. That'll be his third if it was him. Fourth team foul and yeah. the third on Jackson Hicks. Free throw is up and good by Moore. Someone will get one more. And a substitution for Mohawk. They need to get Cross in there. However, Jackson Hicks will stay out there with the three fouls. It's going to be Davenport sitting down. Second free throw by Morris. That one is good. Frontier 52. Mohawk 18. 5 10 to play here, third quarter. Moffitt on the left wing deep. Gets it to Lococo, gets a screen. They quickly switch off though. Frontier, very good defense. Here comes Jackson Hicks working his way through. Partially blocked by Peter Carey, picked up by Karsten. Got it to Sharp. Barrington. Robinson getting set to check in right now for Frontier. They go to Karsten Carey. Left block, up fakes, banks at home. And a quick timeout called by Frontier as they're going to sub. All right, we'll take a break. 4.45 to play here in the third. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, all Frontier, 54-18 over Mohawk on Bear Country, 95.3. Mohawk with the ball. They get it down low to cross. Double team. Turn shoots. Missed it a little bit too strong. An attempted save on the baseline. Tipped out of bounds. It is off of Moffat. It'll go back to Frontier. In addition to Barrington checking in along with uh, Brett Robinson, you also have Sam Felton Emmerich out there. And Nurmiger. So they have, oh yeah, and uh, Walkowitz is out there too. So basically it was a line change. All five new guys out there. Nurminger, right side jumper is good. You got the spin. <laughs> They're all getting it done. You know, the last guy on their bench is a good basketball player. Yeah, That's no. what scares They are so really deep. deep team. On the right side is Bassett. Ruben dumps it down low to cross. Back and in. Double team. Turn. Shoots. Short with that one. Saved though by Jackson. Moffitt will take a three. That is no good. Rockowitz the rebound. Poked away. Owen recaptured it. There are so many Owens between these two teams. There's four of them. <laughs> it's a very popular name for kids born right at the uh, turn of the century. Owen apparently was a very, <coughs> very popular name. Nurminger passes it down low. They get it back. B-Rob three ball. No good. Battle for the rebound. Cross pulls it down. Gets it on over to Anthony Moffitt. Moffitt takes it into the front court. Left side, Bassett. Holds there, Rubin. Passes down low to Jackson Hicks. Foul line jumper left for the bank. Way too strong. Cross the putback, no, but a foul. He'll go to the line for two. Well, Jake Cross doing his best to try and get some offense going for Mohawk. Of course, we've been, it seems like we've been watching Jacob Cross play basketball for quite a while. He's been in that no, this is this is Owen, another Owen. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Owen Cross, excuse me. Well, I was mentioning all the Owens born at the turn of the century. It brings to mind something that I think you and I talked about, and I know that Hubie and I talked about during the football season. As of two years ago, the last of the 20th century athletes had passed on to college or beyond. Every student athlete that we cover going forward now, born in the 21st century. He's got to be Jacob Ross's brother, though. He looks yeah, just, like looks just like him. Yeah, just like him. the same number. Free throw out of bounds. Plays just like him. Yeah. <laughs> so very it's like someone ran Jake through a, a <laughs> copying machine and put him out there. I mean, it's amazing. And here's Owen. That's very true. But he's had a great game, Owen has. 11 points. The second free throw was no good. It ended up out of bounds, but it was off of Frontier. They get it in. Jackson Hicks on the right side. Throws it back. Dubriel has it. And it goes to Ruben Bassett, tipped away. Nurminger, nice defensive play there. Got it away to Felton Emmerich. Jogging across the timeline left is Tim Barrington. Barrington bounce pass on the right side. Wachowitz back between the circles, taking it in. Foul line left. Circles on back. Wachowitz has it. Foul line left and 
away from the ball, we have a foul, offensive foul called against Frontier. That Some is going to go against uh, Felton Emmerich. Yeah, he could have run with the elbow, I think. That was the call. That's the first one on uh, Doc Emmerich. <laughs> you have to give that one up. I, there's a 0% chance the nickname Doc is going to stick. You never know. But you never Work know. for Julius Irving. It did work out pretty well for him, didn't it? Yes, it did. Very deep as Ruben Bassett throws left side to Moffitt. Top of the key. Pass goes through the hands of Dubriel, recaptured by Mohawk. Ten seconds, though, to shoot. Dubriel has it to the line, to the lane. Flings it up there. That is no good. Nurmager the rebound. Tipped away, though. Ruben Bassett has it. Dishes down low. Back to Moffitt. New shot clock for the Warriors. Deep on the right wing, Dubriel takes it between the circles. Boy, Mohawk's very disorganized right now. They have guys going here, there, everywhere. Now they've got their sets up. Top of the key, Dubriel. They're trying to get it down low to Jackson. Hicks sets the screen. Jackson gets it back. The runner on the paint, no good. Felton Emmerich the rebound. Here comes Barrington running it up on the left. Heels back. Tricky dribbles, keeps that triple going. And he's got a pass out of the double team now, gets it back to Robinson. On the left side to Barrington, shot clock at 12. Tim passes, Felton Emmerich from the foul line. His jumper is short, and the rebound pulled down by Will Gaia. Tyler Dubriel, number 13, walks it across the timeline, looks our teammate to pass through, throws left elbow to Moffitt. Wade Bassett, they now work it on the right side. Shot clock down to 10. Ruben Bassett, they pass it down low, tipped out of bounds. That's off of Mohawk. And Jackson Hicks will take a seat on the bench. And Austin Sumner, who got out there for a little while in the first half, he's back out there it's now. It's got to be frustrating for Jackson. I mean, he's really having a tough time getting loose. They really haven't guarded very, very well. Yeah, he got off to a good start on the season. He was their leading scorer in several of the games, but uh, again, just production has slowed down statistically. Gabe Gachinski launches a three, no good. Tipped around, Nurmager the rebound. Loose ball picked up by Frontier. Walkowitz, he forces one up on the right side. That is no good. Ruben Bassett the rebound. Shot clock and game clock are pretty much in alignment. Half second differential between the two. 20 seconds left, 56 to 18. 38 point lead for Mohawk. Air ball thrown up on the right side, a foul on the rebound. That is going to go against Frontier. Raven Sauceda checks in for Moffitt. Three, for two, fouls, two fouls on Sam Felton Embrick, so two quickies on him. He inbound it, coming through. Ooh. Dubriel, a little scoop shot, didn't quite drop for him. Felton Emmerich in the backcourt. Five seconds left from center court, running it up, stops, and he got rejected at the buzzer. Into three here, Goodno Gymnasium in South Deerfield. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Frontier 56, Mohawk 18, on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield.
Merminger. Fourth quarter underway, and Zach Nurminger with a nice bucket on the right baseline to make it 58-18, a 40-point lead now for Frontier, biggest of the night. Back quickly come the Warriors, little hook shot there by Will Guyette is no good. Barrington's gonna go coast to coast, stripped on the way up out of bounds, it'll stay with the Hawks. Tim Barrington is feeling it. <laughs> he, just, he just looks like he's having a blast out there. Well, these bench players are seeing a lot of playing time. I mean, they've had their fair share of blowout games, but nothing like this. Well, this is good because when you get deep into the season, you're going to need those guys to come off the bench in, in tournament time, potentially. Felton Emmerich, foul line left, over to Robinson. Passes over to Gabe Gachinski. Gabe Gachinski, pull up pop from 12, air ball too strong. And we've now picked up by Barrington, three ball at the buzzer. He had to let it go because the shot clock was down. No good, but then Gabe Gachinski got the rebound. He got fouled. He'll go to the line for two. Gabe Gachinski, the junior, went in there and went after that uh, rebound. You'll see him again next year. Free throw is up and good by Gabe. He'll get one more. And a line change now for Mohawk. They're going to bring their starters. Uh, let's see. Well, yeah, it's a, exactly the starting five out there. Moffitt, Davenport, Hicks, Lococo, and Will Guyette. No, Guyette's on the bench. It's uh, Cross out there. Free throw good. 60 to 18, a 42-point lead for Frontier. This one was over a hurry. They outscored, actually, Mohawk 13 to 2 in the third to extend that huge halftime lead. And Gachinski is everywhere, got a steal, goes out of bounds off of Mohawk. So the Warriors brought their starting five out there along with Cross, their most effective player, hoping to maybe get some damage done against these Frontier guys, but not on that series. This is a pretty good second team. And really it's almost like the third, in some cases it's the third unit at certain positions. Felton Emmerich. Foul on line left, into the paint, kicks it, right side, Barrington, open three ball, around the rim and out. Hicks clears the board for the Warriors. Frontier would like to uh, just keep the lead right where it is. Obviously, Mark would like to maybe get over 30 points for the game, hopefully. That's only 12 points away, still six minutes to play. That would look a little bit better. We had that rough out against Greenfield, they only scored 21. Moffitt's going to take a three. That one missed badly. Here comes Burrington. Long pass down court to Gachinski. Gives it to Nurminger. Banks it home. I like watching Zach play. The Big Z has six points in this game. The bearded one. 62-18. <laughs> so easy a caveman can do it. 44-point lead. And now it through the wickets of Hicks. A long lead pass down to Gachinski. Frontier's going to call a timeout so that they can uh, get Brett Robinson in there. We'll take a quick break. Fourth quarter action here in South Deerfield. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier 62, Mohawk 18. Play back on now. And Robinson, Brett's gonna launch a three for the top of the key, no good. Felton Emmerich though, the rebound, new shot clock for the Red Hawks. Barrington, right wing, takes it all the way through, nice dish. Wachowicz, the leaner, no, but a foul. He'll go to the line for two. Yeah, still good ball movement. You know, Mohawk doing a good job, Frontier doing a good job against the Mohawk starters. This uh, team of, the second team as it were, has four fouls, by the way, on Jackson Hicks. 
First free throw is no good. I'm beginning to think we're bad luck for Jackson Hicks because the last couple of games we've done, he's had more fouls than points. Second free throw is good. His dad's going to yell at me when I see him. Chris, between the JV game and the varsity game, Frontier has outscored Mohawk tonight 144 to 35. If you can believe that. So it's definitely been a Red Hawk night here. Better days hopefully ahead for the Warriors. John Davenport worms himself free for a shot. No good. Put back by Hicks. Got the roll. Well, we'll talk about this in the postgame show, but I, there are some reasons for Mohawk fans to feel optimistic, even though this is a blowout. We'll talk about that later, though. Well, they're right in the tournament mix right now. They're going to fall two games below 500 tonight. Again, you need to get either 10 victories or finish first or second in their division. Barrington with kind of a crazy <laughs> pretzel move. He, got, he looked like a pretzel there. Yeah, I'm not sure what that was. And he turned it over. And now they're going to get him on a reach and foul. <laughs> He's a thug. It's only, it's, I think only his, only his first foul, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yeah, it is. Austin Sumner just checked in, and Moffitt will throw in for Mohawk right in front of us. Gets it into Sumner. Austin wears the uh, sports goggles, takes it to the front court, guarded by Gachinski. Cam Lococo. Passes over to Moffitt. Ooh. Sumner got fouled by Gachinski. They didn't call it, though. Shot by Sumner, no good. Here comes Wachowicz. Over on the left side it goes, shuffle pass back. Robinson, three <laughs> ball, B-Rob knocks it down. He did knock it down, that's his first points. 66 to 20, halfway through the fourth quarter. Pull up pop by Anthony Moffat, left side short, Wachowicz the rebound. Long touchdown pass to Gachinski, couldn't quite get, couldn't quite reach it. Gabe goes out of bounds, it'll go back to the Warriors. Bassett in for Cross. 3.48 to play. Felton Emmerich checks out. And let's see who came in for him. Nurminger is back in there. Anthony Moffat takes it across the timeline. On the left wing. Gets it over to Sumner. Gets a screen. Reds the needle, down low, Bassett puts it up and in. Nice little pick and roll. Two points for Ruben Bassett. 66-22. Again, if you're Mohawk, you're just trying to score as many points as you can here. Just to get a little bit closer. Rainbow three, right side, that is no good. Skying for the rebound, Wachowicz. Back to Robinson, another three. That's an air ball, no good, out of bounds. Robinson will... Is he going to check out? No, he'll stay out there. He's just got a little coach, getting coached up by Ben. Moffitt out for Frontier. Tyler Dubriel is back in there now. Dubriel throws on the right side to Lococo. Cam holds there. Sumner between the circles. Left side, Dubriel. Gets it down low to Bassett, and an over-the-back foul called against Owen Wachowicz. Salceda checks in. Lococo out for Mohawk. The second team might have more nicknames than the first team for Frontier. We've got a couple of potential good nicknames in here. I think you're right. Bassett, left wing, holds. Salceda gets it back. Dubriel into the paint. The leaner off the glass. A little bit too strong. Norman drew the rebound. I let to Kaczynski. Leading the break all the way through. Scoop shot, no, but a foul. Z Dog to double G, and he'll get two shots here. <laughs> double G. B Rob, double G, Z Dog. Doc. That's the one that's not going to stick. And O Walk. <laughs> o Walk. <laughs> Better than E Walk. E, -E Walk, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First free throw is up and good. I want to thank more of the sponsors on the broadcast tonight. They include the Smith Kelleher Funeral Home, Deerfield Pharmacy. Kira Soil, Kobe Hibachi Sushi Bar. We'll run them all down when we're done. Second free throw is good. Gabe made them both, 68 to 22. It's been far too long since I've been to Kobe. I gotta go up there. I gotta have someone burn some onions. Steal by Robinson. Brett all the way through, banks it home. Be Rob for two. And they have hit 70. Now the Frontier JVs hit 81 in their game. 
Sumner, he's gonna take a three, that is no good. Rebound comes to Barrington. Coming out of the two minute mark, 70 to 22, 48 point lead. Right now for the Red Hawks. Down low to Barrington, Tim. He stepped on the baseline, we're going the other way. You've been to Kobe, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's just awesome. I like when they put a little tower with the onions and they set them on fire. We'll have to go up there, you and me. Very cool, yeah. We'll take Campbell. We'll, and, and, well, Dave Reno. And Reno, yeah. Oh, Reno, come we'll on. Make a night of it. That shot is no good from the left side by Ruben Bassett. Had the rebound, lost it. Dubriel recaptures, new shot clock for the Warriors. A minute 40 to play. Saceda has it on the right side D. To the foul line. Foul called against Frontier. They've got Barrington again on that one. Looked like that was a foul away from the ball. And it should be a shoot, a one and one here. Yeah, Jeremy Thomas, the two officials are, they're gonna have Dubriel go to the line. Yeah, one and one. No. Should be a one and one. Yeah, the officials are trying to figure that out right now. No, not yet. Sumner inbounds it to Dubriel. Comes up, gets a screen. Top of the key, Bassett. Rubin, all the way through, puts it up no, but drew the foul on Owen Wachowicz, and Bassett will go the line now for two free throws. Now we get, now we get shots. Well, I like Bassett's game and I like his name. There's, there's four Owens in this gymnasium tonight in basketball uniforms. Only one Rubin, though. Yes. And I like that. First free throw is good. Ruben will get one more. Spins it. Dips, shoots, hits. Every time you say his name, I get hungry, though. <laughs> Looking for a sandwich. 70 to 24. Coming out of the one minute mark, our post game show coming up, including the Helena Chemical player of the game. Gabe Kuczynski. A little curl, a little scoop. Ooh, Got it. Love it. Double G. Double G looking sweet. Minute left. They're not going to make 81 that the JV kids did. Robinson fell down playing defense. Quickly gets up. Bassett wraparound pass. Gayette makes it in. Nice play there. Good job, Will. Frontier 72, Mohawk 26. So just an outside chance that Mohawk could make it to 30. They get it down low. Nurminger pass batted down, got it right back. Robinson, now it's stolen. Dubriel, all the way through, will lay it up. Too strong, it was defended, he missed it. Yeah, he heard footsteps, I think. Yep, he did. And Frontier, they can dribble it out. And that is what they will do. So the Frontier Red Hawks are going to win this one. They jumped out to a 25 to four lead at the end of one, and they were never headed. Five seconds left, Barrington still has it, and that will do it. Frontier wins it, 72 to 26 on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Stay tuned. The post-game show next on Bear Country 95.3. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. And welcome to the post-game show here on Bear Country 95.3. The Frontier Redhawks 
win number eight on the year. The Chris Collins, they are two wins away from clinching a playoff berth. <laughs> I know, it's amazing. And, <laughs> Something and tells me they're going to be in the tournament. Yeah, they're going to be in there, and they're going to yeah. be a high seed. They may even host an opening game. Uh, just a very, very solid program. But I'll tell you what, and this is going to sound strange, but I'm going to say it. There are reasons for Mohawk fans to feel somewhat optimistic. Now, granted, this was this was a mismatch. We knew going in it was going to be tough. But I like the way Mohawk moved the ball. I think that fundamentally they're a stronger, more solid basketball team. And I can see that they're gonna. there's, there's a future there. I mean, it may not be this year. It may not be next year. But that program, I think, is on the upswing. And But they ran into a buzzsaw tonight and a buzzsaw of epic proportions. Every combination that Ben Barshevsky put in the game worked, including the last, the whole last fourth quarter was pretty much played by, by what we consider to be the second string, in some cases the third string, against the, the first string of Mohawk and 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 Frontier just they owned the Warriors in this game as they have in previous years. But I think that if you're a Mohawk fan, you know they they definitely have some athletic ability. Whether they can put it together in time for this year, I don't know. But I, I think that. I like what I saw for the most part, but Frontier is just too good for anybody, I think, right now. Yeah, 25-4 at the end of one, 43-16 at halftime, and if Mohawk was ever going to make any kind of run, they wanted to get it done in the third quarter. It did not happen. They were outscored 13-2 in the third, and, uh, well, let's see here. 16 more points for Frontier in the fourth against only eight for Mohawk. So they outscored them in every quarter. And uh, obviously, they end up winning going away. So they now, uh, again, they pick up their eighth win on the year. They're at perfect 4-0 in league play. Uh, not infallible, obviously. There are teams out there that can definitely not only give them a game, but beat them if they don't mind all their P's and Q's. But really, again, they're going to be a very tough out. And I like what you said about Mohawk. We, you know, Chris, we've done this for a long time. We see some ball games where the team that lost decisively Offensively, all they were doing was mucking it up. Yeah. They had they had really no flow at all. That was, as you mentioned, that really was not the case. I mean, they had some stretches where they were struggling a little bit, but in terms of having an actual organized offensive set, they were actually able to achieve that tonight. Well, Sounds like a small victory, no, but but there have know. been some painful moments. Let's face it: in the last couple of years, especially last year when Frontier went to Buckland, and that was just that was just horrible. I think that this year, this team, I think, is starting to put some things together. Now, whether or not, they probably won't be in the tournament, but they might win a few games. They've already won a couple of games. Um, to beat an upper echelon team like Frontier is going to be a, a major stretch, but I like what I see. I think these guys uh, have a potential in the next couple of years to really build something. And it's been a long time since the West County has had a team. I think we go back to the Ed Carter days mm -hmm. and Tyrone yeah, Henderson Tyron when Henderson it was the last Hawker, time they yeah. were really a threat to go deep in the tournament or even go into the tournament. And this Red Hawk team, I think this is their year, but they're going to you know, lose some people to graduation next year, I think. And it always seems to go in cycles. And I think that the, the sun is rising on the Mohawk program, despite what happened here tonight. So again, Frontier wins it going away 72 to 26. When we talk Helen, a chemical player of the game, you know, he wasn't incredibly dominant. This was like a workman, machine-like performance for Mr. Carey. Yeah, Karsten Carey ended up with 20 points, led all scorers. And it wasn't as much what he did at the basket as much as what he did away from the basket. I loved the high post game he was playing with his brother. A couple of really crisp passes, a couple of blocks, and just a basically a Karsten Carey workman-like performance. And again, they lost Colin Boudreau an injury before the game even started. So, you know, he and Peter are going to be doing a lot of the front court work uh, while Boudreau's on the bench with healing that injury. But as Frontier has shown, they can shoot from the outside as well. So, But Karsten was the best player out there. He gets the T-shirt. He is the Helen a chemical player of the game as Frontier wins it by a final score of 72 to 26. With the win, they go to 8-1 overall, 4-0 in Hampshire League play. Moak drops to 4-6 overall, two up, two down in the Hampshire League. We're back with you again on Wednesday night, Nichols Gym at Greenfield High School, another Hampshire League boys matchup as the Hopkins Academy Golden Hawks come to Greenfield to take on the Green Wave. Pre-game show at 6.45. We'll tip it off at 7 o'clock, and I'll be joined at the mics by Bobby C. Final score for the final time here tonight. Good note, Gymnasium, South Deerfield, Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Frontier 72, Mohawk 26. For Chris Collins and for Dave Reno, I'm Jeff Terrell. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Have a great night in bear country, everyone.